Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today we're going to be taking a look at Luxador's Niche Perfumes. Alright, so today I got a bit of a different video for you guys because the people over at Luxador Oils reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to try one of their tester kits. They specialize in, in niche perfume oils, retail wholesaling these niche perfume oils. And they asked me to check them out, see what I thought, test the quality of them, and then do a video for you guys. So. I said, sure, send them on over. I did tell them, I'm just gonna give my personal opinion on these, let them know like what I think, if they're good, if they're not, then I'm gonna tell my people about that. This is not a paid sponsorship whatsoever. They didn't send me any money. They only sent me a tester kit. Retails about $90 on their website. They give you about 10 vials of 10 gram perfume oils, pure, pure perfume oils. So not a paid sponsorship, not getting any money for this. I will have link down in the description to their website to go check them out. They have like close to 200 different clone fragrances in their perfume oils. Everything from Armani to Creed to Roja to Zhirzhov, Parfums de Marly, all the different designer and niche style of brands that are in there. And they got some, a lot in there, about 200, about 100 each for men and women there. So nice selection of niche perfumes and designer perfume oils that are in there. And I also have a coupon code that's gonna be down in the description as well. I asked them just to give me a coupon code, save you guys a few bucks. I don't get any kickback from that. If you use the code, cool. If you don't, cool. Makes zero difference to me. I don't get any money if you use that code. I'm just trying to save you all some money and I'm trying to keep it 100 here that I only got the test kit. That's it, not a paid sponsorship. I haven't been, I haven't been bought, people. I'm here to give you my honest opinion on things and they just wanted to send me free shit. So I said, sure, send me some free shit. Comes in this nice little tester box where we have 10 of these oils packaged in there. So when you do buy a tester kit, you can pick of the 200 or so fragrances there, you can pick 10, 90 bucks and they'll ship it on over to you. If I can get this out and it sits in this nice little podium here. And so here you can see we have our 10 gram, if the camera can get that, 10 gram roller perfume oil. So pure perfume oils. We got ones like Angel Share. We got ones like Blue de Chanel. We got one Stellar Times. We have Aventus Premium that they sent me. Whole bunch of different fragrances. Ball d'Afrique, Ganymede, Baccarat Rouge, Elysium all really nice niche perfume oil fragrances. And let me tell you, these are actually very, very nice. I don't have a lot of experience with perfume oils. I typically just get bottles of fragrances with like Eau de Toilettes, Eau de Parfums, Parfums, Extract de Parfums, etc. So these are just pure perfume oils. So I hadn't had a lot of experience with them. And let me tell you, the one I've been absolutely obsessing over that I've been wearing over and over again is this Bald Afrique. This one is just an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. I love the scent accords that come through on this one. And the quality with these Luxador oils is very, very nice. It has a very luxurious feel to them, a very luxurious scent accords coming onto them. All the ones that I've smelled so far that I'm familiar with the originals smell very, very close to what they're trying to clone. Excellent quality on these, has that luxuriousness to it. The one thing that took me a little bit to get used to is these are roll-ons. So this is not an atomizer, this is just a little metal ball that sits on top that you roll onto your skin. So I'm not a huge fan of that. I do like to spray my fragrances on, but I get it. It's a pure perfume oil, so it's, it's not mixed up yet or whatever. On their website, they do have a few videos that kind of show you how to make your own, you know, concentrations of fragrances based off of using their perfume oil, which I found kind of neat. I might dabble into that at some point here and some of my favorite fragrances that are just way out of my price range that I could just make at home. I might, I might dabble in that a little bit, kind of open up my the post cologne science lab and start mixing my fragrances. And so if that's something you're looking to do, you might want to check out Luxador oils because they are really fantastic fragrances. Oh, this ball of Af Afrique, so good. Again, in terms of like the performance on these, because they're pure perfume oils, these don't project off very hard. You do get a decent scent bubble. It does, you know, project out a little bit, but it's nothing like you would get with like an Eau de, Eau de Parfum or Parfums, you know, Eau de Toilettes, all those different ones. Sits a little bit closer, but the longevity on these are quite well. I get eight, 10 hours off of the ones I've tested. I tested more than half of the ones I had in this tester kit and they all lasted, like I said, eight to 10 hours off my skin. Nice oily sheen on your skin when you get it. And you know, just a little bit behind each ear, a little bit on your chest, some on your hands and in your elbow pits, all that kind of stuff. And you'll be smelling fantastic. You'll be smelling like your niche fragrance, your designer fragrance of your choice. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with these Luxador oils. I think they're pretty neat. And again, like I said, if I dabble into making my own fragrances, I think I'm gonna try these guys out. They do have pretty good pricing for larger bottles of specific fragrances, but if you wanna get a tester kit, like I said, check it out in the link in the description and check out that coupon code if you wanna use it. Save yourself a little bit of money, but overall, pretty impressed with these Luxador oils. 
And I want to hear from you guys. Do any of you dabble in perfume oils? Do you ever get to just pure oils and make your own fragrance or just wear them straight up? Uh, this is kind of a new thing for me. This is like one of my first experiences with perfume oils and I, I'm kind of curious now. I kind of maybe want to make my own fragrance based off of these. So comment down below. I'd love to get educated on this. I'd love to hear from you guys, your experience with all this kind of stuff. I just, I really appreciate the input. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.